Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so everyone's ready? No. Okay, Pete Stevenson, if you'd like to leave us off. Good evening. What are your thoughts on that game, please? Um, no, we, look, we played against a top side, so um, I, don't, I don't think the the scenario of the game was was too bad in terms of being in the game and then having a late push to um, to get a result. And um, and we, you know we we had our moments. You can't prevent them from having a moment because they're a top side, but we had our moments as well. And um, and yeah, like the team fights, the team's alive, the team uh, is entertaining. Um, it just lacks the, the little bit of um, final touch at the moment to reward ourselves. But I, I keep saying to you guys that I see these guys work every single day, and I have no doubt that they will, you know, they will make that step at would, some point. Would you say at half time to them because it felt like it could have been a lot more than one nil at half time? Yeah, we uh, look. I, th I think it was a game where, if if you look at how dominant Liverpool was in the first half, he'll tell you one one side of the story. But in the first half as well, I felt that we had big, big transition opportunities where we just don't play the last ball well, or we deal with one v one situations quite well where we beat our man or we get past people. So I, I did feel that was already in the first half. Um, but we probably weren't as, as solid as we needed to be to, to benefit from that. And then the second half was a bit of of everything. You know, we were a little bit more solid, and then we had more moments as, as a result of it. And and then we looked dangerous the entire second half. Okay, Joey C. Um, it's difficult. It's a top team. <laughs> There's no doubt. I mean, you play against the top sides, and what's really apparent, especially at this, you know, in this league, is that every team at the top has got either a different, a different style, a different idea behind it, different strength. And Liverpool have got different strengths than Tottenham or Arsenal or City, and and but they're they're a top side, you know. And to be a top in the Premier League, it's it's you have to have top players. I, th I think the funny thing is. I was kind of think of thinking of my days when I played against the probably one of the greatest sides that they've had in recent history, and um, and look what in terms of quality I think the future will tell, but in terms of intensity they are getting back to to the levels that that I've known when I was facing them as a player, and and, and then they're very dangerous, very difficult to play against. They, they went top after, after this result. Will they stay there? I don't know, and to be to be frank, I'm <laughs> I uh, I'll allow myself to focus on the other side of the table for now. Yeah, it's it's the same as I usually. So I mean, we're lucky to have two good goalkeepers. I, I think every team in in the Premier League has that, but um, I, I said it before. I think you know, England is is quite lucky to have. A young goalkeeper like him coming through the ranks, you know, um, it's it's a matter of time. But now, um, it's just the consistency of performances. He's just got to keep doing this. And from our side, we going the other way. We have to make sure that we score our goal, uh, our chances as well. Matt and then Joe, no, oh, Mike. One. Uh, can you just, just clear up with Nathan Redmond. He, he came up, sat back down. Um, yeah. No, no, no. I was, I was. <laughs> I can be fully transparent. It was very simple. I said, "If Lyle's done, you're coming on." And then there was a foul. He sat down at a breather. So I'm like, "Hold on a little bit," and that gives you 30, 45 seconds to recover. So you might get another burst. But I was very open about this, and you know, <laughs> Nathan is a top, top professional in my squad, and I said exactly that to him, and. He, he, he understood. Thanks, Mike. Matt and then Joyce. Uh, yeah, you understand the bird fixability is this booking. Uh, how big this will be for Villa? Yeah, massive. Yeah, that's, it's. But okay, there'll be there'll be other games after Villa that that are important. So um, 
I'd, I'd rather he didn't miss the game, but if I have to pick a game to miss, then maybe that's that's not the worst one to miss, in, in all honesty. Paul? Uh, you said earlier about um, the final touch to reward yourselves will, will come in time. Are you looking to January to, to help that in terms of new players arriving, or do you think the answers for the season lie within the squad at the moment? <laughs> the problem is that final touch in the Premier League so what we're looking is uh, what, what is that you know is down the bottom of the league that's Solanke that's Jimenez from Fulham that's the level we're talking about that you need for the Premier League so to go out in the market and find that level of players for us I, I, I'm you know unless Jurgen wants to do as a Christmas present after a few of the guys he left out of the squad today other than that I think we have to be realistic uh, the biggest way for us to progress is to see the progression in the plays we have. But if there's something smart we can do, um, we'll obviously be um, open to that. Billy, was just, just going back to, to James, it was always going to be a case of just time for him to get to you know, adapt to the league and, and get to this consistent level because he's, he's now sort of keeping you engaged, winning your points and stuff like that. Yeah, it, I think it's. I think with all the young players as well, what, what I want to make sure of is, uh, in, in fact, doing the opposite, not really making it about him. He's, he's one of the players. You can make it about Odebert today. We could make it about you know. He, he just has to continue. That's that's the job, and um, and I think as well. Just a reminder that this this club, you know, because obviously Liverpool is a great club and the teams we, but this club has its own greatness as well in terms of how calm a club it is, how stable a club it is, the type of environment it is, you know. You see as well the fans how they get behind the team, behind the players. It's it's a really good club and and. And these players are are entertaining. They are. I, I would pay to come and watch them. They just have to keep working hard, and that's what we protect. We make sure they work hard. We make sure they 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 don't get the chance to start, you know, drifting. They and then they'll. You'll see these guys will um, will hopefully also help us to um, to to go a level up in the future, and hopefully tomorrow. But but they've made so much progress since the start of the season already. Happy everyone. Thank you. Thank all you. The best. Thank you. Thank <clears throat> you.